Howdy everyone. Hello and welcome to more of Let's Play Kessen 2. Of course, the Black Shadow. Last time, uh, we fought at the Battle of Farnjang. A fan, a fascinatingly diverse battle. And truth be told, we got into all sorts of uh, shenanigans down here. Quite an enjoyable campaign, to be honest. One of the better battles we've played this entire game. We almost lost two, which was kind of amusing. Uh, so next up, we'll be heading on down to Mount Dingjun. Again, a battle which, like, out of the three, is probably the one you shouldn't take. Uh, you don't get any generals or anything for doing this fight, which is a shame. Um, why? Some battles you do, some battles you just don't. I have no earthly idea, but uh, regardless. Uh, we will head down where uh, Shao Ba will be looking for revenge against his father. Now we will show our true strength. Let the meeting begin. Everyone lay out your ideas. Our territory is comparatively abundant, but it is almost impossible to secure provisions for the entire army. Shouldn't we purchase supplies from an area that has had plentiful harvests for some years? My father's enemy, Zheng Fei, is the enemy's general. We must train for this battle. There can be no mistakes. The only thing enemy general Zhang Fei has going for him is his bravery. Even so, we can't afford to be careless. I think we should recruit some new soldiers. Sire, what do you wish us to do? Must state. The size of his hat. How does he not, like, just fall over all the time? No idea. So, pretty standard. Uh, get supplies, get troops, or train them. Nothing fancy here. Do whatever you want, so whatever you so fancy. I think we'll do, uh, we'll do some training here. What the hell? Seems reasonable. I've made up my mind. We will be victorious. My yes, Lord. sir. We'll see if we pick up anything, uh, half decent. The troops are training around the clock. All right, Simi, Goji, and Sarin gain experience. Eugen, Sabu, and Sao Sao gain war. That's actually a pretty good. Uh, that's a good, good dosage of stuff. Zheng Fei, leading the Shu army, invades Hanzhong. Opposing him is Jia Hao Ba, who burns with vengeance for the death of his father, Jia Hao Yuan, killed at the hand of Zheng Fei. Jia Hao Ba is defeated by Zheng Fei. Now, as a result of his impetuous attack, right. Han Zhang's most strategic point, Mount Dinjun, lies in the hands of the enemy. So we've lost. Cao Cao, leading a unit of reinforcements, hurries to Hong Zhong. Along with Jia Hao Ba's army, they attempt to crush Zhang Fei at Mount Dinjun. How dare you disobey? You leave swearing to avenge your father? You return with your tail between your legs. I have no excuse. My lord, I know I deserve to die. Then you are ready for death. My lord, please forgive him. Please. He's pissed. Jiahelba. Sometimes a general must choose to act like a coward in the field. You can't defeat tens of thousands by making a mad dash into oblivion. A quick temper cannot be cured overnight. From now on, you'll be working with Sima Yi. Very wise words. I'm impressed by your wisdom. <laughs> to war council, immediately! <laughs> My lord, shut up. Commence the war council. Report on your situation. According to the report by the scouting unit, we have been unable to locate the position of the enemy, but we have found their storehouse. Guess that's better than nothing. So yeah, the storehouse is as you would ex it is in the same place it was previously. So that's kind of cool. For victory to be ours in this battle, it is imperative that we force General Sang Fei's unit to retreat. If my lord's unit is forced to flee, then we will be defeated. 
State your strategies. Listen to my humble strategy. The outcome of this battle hinges on the storehouses. We must successfully defend ours while attacking theirs. Therefore, I suggest that my lord protect our storehouse. I think we should attack the storehouse like this, in two groups. Once their storehouse is gone, Liu Bei's demoralized army will be an easy target. So pretty, pretty standard. I also have a strategy, my lord. I've been surveying the terrain in this area for some time, and I found a secret mountain road that only the locals know about. Oh. Lord Jiahou Ba's units and mine should curve around this mountain route and attack the enemy from the rear. Mm. It will take some time to arrive at the battlefield, but the unexpected attack will confuse the enemy and result in a total rout. Mm. Lord, give ear to my strategy. I ask my lord to protect the storehouse. Oh no, shouldn't you? Then we Let will plant decoys here with mines concealed yep. underneath. The decoys will look like soldiers and lure the enemy onto the mines. Many will be blown away. Shouldn't you love some mines, doesn't she? The rest of the units will join in on the attack on the enemy's storehouse. My lord, which strategy will you have us employ? So, you've basically got kind of pretty bog standard, nothing particularly fancy, just move down both fronts and just look to have a fight. You've got Simming Yi's plan, which is pretty, pretty interesting actually. Um, getting, basically taking a defensive position around the storehouse and just holding off against the enemy, waiting for uh, the uh, ambush from behind to come in. And then Shun Yu, of course, as Shun Yu loves to do, um, basically have all your forces go down one side here, um, and then ambush the enemy at the other. Um, I suspect Shun Yu's probably gonna come with her own unit for this one. Yeah, no, Zhang Hei's got his own unit there, whereas for, like, say, this one, uh, oh, he does? Interesting. Maybe Shun Yu's gonna be attached to, um, uh, to, like, Cao Cao's unit, possibly? I don't know. Either way, I think, um, I would definitely not pick Zhang Liao's. I think either of these is probably... Probably good, but I reckon if we're gonna choose any, we'll go with Simi Yang. Let's use this strategy. Battle. Yes, yes sir. sir. Battle. I still kinda of wish there was more battle than this like occurred. Is what it is. Okay then. So yeah, she knew the tax house here, so cool. So yeah, so I'm guessing the plan here, yeah, as you can see, is basically we're taking a defensive position here and we're just gonna hold off on the numbers here. So Sousa being joined by Shun Yu, uh, Zhang Liao, uh, along with Guo Jiar, and Zhang Hei is gonna be on his own here. Zhang Hei's got a bow unit, which isn't bad. Um I think I actually want to cycle him and Sousa around. Which is risky. Don't get me wrong, but I actually reckon that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here. I want Zhang Hei down the back so we can, like, support with the bows. I think this sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're gonna bought your objective and we're gonna send him up here. Zhang Hei on his own, like, he's gonna take a whole lot of damage. We just saw in the previous battle what happened with Pang Tong's archer unit. They got murdered. By uh, by the Katana unit, so this is probably probably a safer plan. I think this is not a bad idea. Okay, let's uh, turn Sasa around. That should probably be about fine. Now the question is, how long is it going to take for Sim Yi to actually get um, into position? That's going to be the question. Yeah, def uh, I think that's pretty solid. Zhang Hei is in dome. I think I'd rather put you in goose. Let's get into position first before I do it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Zhang Liao, yeah, I think that's fine. Right, let's turn Zhang Hei around here. 
But yeah, this is the whole plan. So we're just going to be defensive, use the storehouse, kind of um, keep things tight, bait them in, effectively. Well, not exactly bait them in, but uh, we're just going to be very careful. We'll change up to Goose. And now... That's actually not the worst idea either. The only problem I would wager, though, is that's kind of high risk. You're basically relying on Sao Sao defending the storehouse by himself, which is... I don't know. That backfires and you lose it. You're in real trouble. Um, so that's the only thing I would say. It's, it's, a, it's a dangerous, dangerous plan. I'm not sure how much I like it. So we just have to wait, basically. As the only downside as well with the previous battle, uh, Far Jank, of taking the um, Shin Yu's plan with the mind, is that it just takes a while for everything to come back. Here we go. Here come the enemy numbers. There's a lot of units coming as well. Oh my god. Here they come. That is a lot of enemy units. Holy damn. Here comes Yuge, Lili. We got more income as well. Oh boy. Alright, change of plan here. Right, Sao Sao, get over here. They're all coming for a frontal charge. They reckon they've got the numbers. I mean, they technically do. Alright, here we go. Let's have a look at some of these enemy units then, shall we? Elements. We've got a uh, Lee Lee. She's on her own. But she has, of course, got rushed. We've seen the damage that that does. Oh, Juge. It's been a while since I've had to deal with you. Lightning, Firestorm, Fireball, all tier 3, of course. Uh, Hong Zhong as well here. Uh, he's on his own. Uh, he's got all sorts of abilities on his side. Longbow unit as well. Uh, swords, swords. Here they come. Alright, is there a Potential to get Zhang He in a... Uh, right, let's get Cao Cao moving in a little bit further. We're going to take Zhang He's unit and see if we can't move him to a more... Uh, better position. To actually get some uh, crossbowing going. Here we go. The lines clash. Right, we've got to be careful of Lili here. Um, or Luo Luo here. Can remember her archers. Maybe I should actually engage um, them with, with Zhang Hei. That actually might be not a bad idea. I actually like this plan. I actually, this is going to be a good idea. We'll look to get uh, Zhang Hei engaging archers to archers. It's not a bad plan. Now, here we go. Now, Zhang Liu should be able to deal with Lili's unit easily enough? Question mark? I would like to hope. See what we can do. Oh man, there's an enormous target available to us. Oh dear. Tango Sinson Lee Kondaken. Tango Sinson Lee Kondaken. I mean, like, she had to, didn't she? How, how do you not use freaking uh, your your uh, iron wall there? Does mean I can look to make the, the meteor shower instead, but yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes takes total logical sense. I think I'd have done the same thing. <laughs> just like, ah, okay. uh, so sad. Yeah, potential for a lot of damage here. And again, much like the previous battle, we are taking a very defensive sort of strategy here. You can use your, your spells and tactics a bit more often than you would do previously. Um, because you're going to get your recharges a lot faster. Which I'm getting his, uh, getting his uh, magic up. Good on you, buddy. 
tonight. Here comes uh, Luolo trying to ambush our uh, trying to ambush the supplies. It's very rude, and you need to apologize. South actually, I tell you what, South actually fighting Zhuge is actually a really good because, of course, I do have uh, an Iron Wall on this unit, which I don't think Zhang Hei has. So that actually probably makes this uh, actually a really, really good, uh, a really good spot. Um, a good, a good unit to look to deal with Zhuge. Zhuge will unite Unfortunately, this isn't going to do the most effective. It's just shame. Because of course, Juge's mute magic is like max, which means that spells against him aren't going to be hugely, hugely effective. Sadly, that's still a decent hit though. That's only because Shin Yu's magic attack is so high too. Yes, that's why. Ooh, ooh, Huang Zhong. Where's Huang Zhong? Think he's going? That's not good. Okay, we have problems. We're actually getting slightly swarmed here. Whoa, whoa, he's trying to, uh, trying to storm the house from behind here. All right, let's go get him. All right, we might as well volley first before they do it. Insert your covering up social distancing jokes of Zhang Hei there. Shoot him down. Very nice. That'll uh, give. Yeah, what that does, it doesn't do so much as just immediate damage. Is that it? Just it's just mass confusion to start. With. That's the real benefit of doing that. So. Right, Zhang Le's getting hit from two sides now. Uh, Huang Zhong's coming in as well. So that is... That is a problem. There's a definite issue. Storehouse is going to have to do... Do have to do the job here. Right. What we're going to do here is we're going to get Zhang Liao officially to, like, to, uh, withdraw and fight Huang Zhong. So Zhang Liao can deal with Huang Zhong and then, like... Because Li Li's the less dangerous unit of the two. So I think that's what we're going to do here. It, 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 it does make a difference. You have to believe me that it does. But at the moment with this front, like we have no generals on this side. Which is really bad. Which means Wong going to just rip us apart. So yeah, it's one of those ones that in, in technical sense, it doesn't make any difference what we're doing. Like, in reality, it wouldn't matter, but in actual, like, game turns, it's not to be, uh, not to be ignored. It has, has an effect. Right. Um, I reckon we actually send this unit in. We're gonna try and stall the enemy here. We've got two on one anyway shooting, so we're probably in good shape as it is. We don't need to do anything too, too outrageously crazy. Now I'm hoping that this will let us fight Huang Zhong's unit. It might not. It might be leaving again. It is. Well, damn. We'll have to do it this way then. It's fine. Kind of annoyed Guo Jia's not engaging on that side though. That's, that's kind of... I don't know why that's happening, but it is. Is what it is, I guess. We want to look to try and uh, obviously try and get um, Zhuge's troops dealt with here as good as we can here. Of course, the only again the problem with this plan is that it is just a case of like how long it's going to take Simi and Shao to get around and get on the other side. Once he appears, like this battle is probably as good as one, or close to it. But until then, you have got a kind of kind of precarious defense to make here. By the way. The amount of damage we're doing as Yuge's unit here is kind of extraordinary. It's kind of extraordinary. I'm very surprised by this. In this case, it's the fact that we've got some really good units. I mean, this is like, uh, these are, this is heavy cav. 
Um, you know, and against, like, uh, what are these, like, heavy foots, like, we just have the advantage. If it was a spear unit, it'd be a bit of a different story, perhaps. Yeah, we have got problems here. Here we go. It looks like we'll make it in time. I love the Master's plan. The enemy supplies are almost in our reach. They'll never survive this one. They'll starve! All right, then, quickly as you can, boys. Because we are a little bit in a dicey spot in the uh, in our own defense here. Let's go have a look, see what's going on down this side of things. So, Shahbar uh, leading the cavalry. Um, and Simi Yi, uh, he's, he's, he's arching as well. So, we'll let them, uh, we'll let them do what they're going to do. They know what they're doing, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, Simi Yi's on the move as well. That's good. Right, we need to try and get this unit beaten as quickly as we can here then, so we can like focus on uh, We can focus on the situation. Have I already got lightning back? Oh no, it's meteor shower, okay. We use hail, I guess. Well, to note is that it's kind of unusual to actually see like a um, to like see a uh, a, like a, a principal spear unit. You don't get too many of those in this game. Like um, Zhang Liao is about one of the only ones that can do that, which I guess is cool. Lily's already getting Iron Wall back. Wow. I kind of want to duel, but she's never going to take it. It would make more sense to wait and uh, go for Lord Wong Chong. Make way for Zhang Liao. This is exactly what I'm going to look to do here. I'm going to look to deal well with Wong Chong again. We'll try and get this unit clear to finish off as quickly as we can. Raid map's a bit expensive, but it will do the job. Very nice. That's all. You are nothing. Death and destruction. Yeah, that's Lily's unit, more or less, uh, more or less taken out here, which is very, very good. Oh, yeah, look how quickly she got Iron Wall back. Of course. Yes, expect a good report. You better, otherwise I'm going to be very, very pissed. Let's have a look what's going on here. All right, so Zhang Fei, of course, is guarding the actual supply depot, which makes sense. Uh, he is on his own, which is worth noting. All right, in that case, then, what we're going to do is we're going to take Simi Yi's unit for a moment. And we're going to get Simi Yi to actually look to... Um, I can't get to the storehouse until I somehow beat back Zhang Fei. Damn, that is a problem with this plan. That is an issue. Maybe I can get around? Maybe not, I'm not sure. I just need this to be one here. Father, please give me your strength. I see. There's more enemy units. Ah, that's what's going on here. Ah, shoot. Yeah, so Zhang Fei's charging at um, Shao Bar here. Right, we need to see if we can somehow get down here and get Simi around. Yeah, Masu's protecting from the other side here. That's what's going on. Of course, not the best unit in the world. There is a way we can uh, get around there that might be able to be made to work. I was doing a pretty decent job of actually defending here. Like, uh, what? We're holding off uh, the Shu army pretty, pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with all this. Fire! All right, let's volley away here.
into the night sky. Yeah, I'd be pretty worried of freaking uh, some friendly fire there, but never mind. Wow, that hit really hard too. How is your war skill, Zhang Hei? It's actually pretty good. Well, just, I'm a little surprised it's as high as it is, given the game, but, well, I mean, sure, we'll take it. Right, I think Simi's going to be able to uh, get around the side here by the looks of it. All right, then we know where this is going, of course. Zhang Fei. I will offer your head to the spirit of my father. <laughs> How about you miss your father? Why don't I send you to join him? That is really like most evil, by the way. Where's the evil? Go get you some boy! Come on, Shao Bar. You can do it. You just gotta believe. Yeah! Nice. Good work. Uh, what went wrong? Where was all my energy? That's it now. I swear, I'll take your head, Jang Fei. Believe me, that was a high risk deal. Like, both sides were out with Max. So, like, who knows? Anyone could have won that fight. But that is a uh, that is a big, big win. Of course, Zhang Fei's round is going to recover here. But what it does, it's going to confuse his units. So it means we're going to do a lot of just, just collateral damage to him while he's uh, recovering from that. Right, Simi Yi. Now we can... Get... We're actually going to take Simi's unit itself. And I'll just do this manually. Why are you in rain formation? I have no earthly idea. Get out of that. Take like... Uh, I actually reckon we'll take Asp. Oh, God damn it. I've got to sit here and wait unless I change uh, where I am. It's kind of annoying. And then we're going to ambush Marsu from behind here is the plan. Here we go. This will do some. Uh, this will do some damage. He ain't gonna see it coming. Apparently, he's blind to what's going on on this side. So, like, whatever. I guess. Meanwhile, wow, there's a lot of craziness going over here. Pretty surprised by all of it. Yeah, I mean, probably meet your shout out there, but we are invincible. There is no army that we cannot stop. Oh, father, I'm so sorry. No, Lily, oh, make me sad. <laughs> it's okay, sister. I will avenge you. Um, are you? Hmm. Well, we win. You guys been beating everyone, so that's pretty nice. All right then, so it's time to uh, time to go have a party, everyone. Let's go get them. All right, now our, our forces have uh, kind of realigned themselves. Uh, this is going to be an interesting fight. I imagine Does he's taking this. Here seek the honor of losing to me. Mhm. Mm I'll have a go. I'll tear you apart. Huh. Here we go. <laughs> what was that? Yes. Yeah. Easy as you like. You know, given that he served Lu Bu and was like the whole freaking Jaya P thing, he's probably telling the truth. He's probably telling the truth. Uh, what 
Let's target. I want to get both of the uh, the back bow units if I can here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to muster it. Eh, that'll be fine. This bit isn't immediately going to do a lot of damage. I'm basically lining up for this. Maybe I should have just gone for the heart of the unit. But then I do that meta damage, I'm like, yeah, actually, maybe, maybe I made the right call. Maybe I made the right call. All oh, right, we're not in combat yet officially, so. Jamie, would you hurry up then? Where are you going? What are you doing? Whatever. I'll get back to you. All right, meanwhile, further on down here, let's just get stuck in, which is a easier easy unit. I could sit down the back and shoot away, but there's really no need to. Ugh, of course he is. Alright. Let's, uh, let's do some damage, everyone. We're gonna just get into the heart of the battle and then just ice storm, and this is going to do a lot of damage. It was a close battle, but the mandate's with us. Yay! No, neither the world won't said. Never mind. Something, something. I'm sorry, but, um, problem. I imagine. Masu is about to have a bad day. <laughs> Ow. Brutal. Brutal. I actually reckon I want to just like try and wipe out this unit as like, I want to finish this fight as quick as we can here. Uh, we should probably like look to hail Marsu's own unit. But just meet your sharing. The general battlefield is probably also not a bad idea. Now, Jang Fai's throwing everything at us. Damn him. This just doesn't seem a bad idea. Now, if Friendly Fire exists in this game, it'd be a different story. But then, if Friendly Fire existed, like, this would be the worst game. Also, Simi is a tier 3 magic. Which I had a feeling he was, anyways. Because that ice storm. Incoming. Marcy's unit has just been. just. ripped apart. You know what? Let's chuck them all in. What the hell? Let's just. let's just throw the lot at him. Let's wipe this unit as quickly as we can. It means to me that we basically completely spent here, but it's fine. Very nasty. Oh, I've not shown this before. Look at the size of this thing. Annihilated. Yeah. That is why I want Shun Yu at tier 3 magic, everyone. Because it's ridiculous. Right, meanwhile, uh, I should be getting Zhang Hei. I've made a mistake here. Yeah, I should be doing that. Made an error. Alright then. So Zhang Fei has like used everything he's got uh, ability-wise, so I might as well just um, well look to start striking back here. Jiahopa is no less than his father. 
kind of a shame in a way that the AI doesn't know how to use the range cancer. But then I suppose if they did, like, the level of carnage they'd be able to bring on your troops would just be... I'd rather not think about it. Anyone else want to use this step? I'd rather not think about it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, very, very brutal. All right then. So Zheng Fei's kind of spent here, which is good. Cao Cao's on his way as well. Here comes Zhang Liao. Let's try get this battle up one here. Now he's using in combat as well, so he can rush effectively. Just saw my guys just get shot to death there. That was uh, that was kind of mean. Show them what a true charge looks like. Here we go. Yeah, with a speed as well, like it's just so effective. Oh man. Yeah, spears, spears just make logical sense for that sort of strategy. Look at the damage. Man, really, really brutal. Right. Let's see if we can get um, Wong Zhong's personal unit involved in this fight. There we go. Sao has um, ambushed Sang Fei as well, so that's pretty nice. All right, men, line it up. Getting it gradually. Oh, here we go. That'll do. That'll suffice. Right, this one looks uh, looks fairly. Wow, Marsu has just look at this. carnage has been wrought upon him. I've got to get you tier three magic should you so bad. <laughs> I mean, I guess in theory, if you wanted to, what you could do is, like, just keep training troops for them you get the opportunity to do so in the political situations, and then basically just keep reloading the game until you get a magic boost for Shun Yu. You could definitely do it that way. It's not... It's not completely outrageous. Like, I don't think it's particularly necessary, but it's also not completely outrageous, so... That's what we need to do. We need to, we need to, uh, we need to get you onto uh, Tier 3 Magic. It will make me a very, very, very happy man. I should probably have moved this to get it to be more effective, but... You're going to fight me? This has been fairly, fairly well dealt with, actually. It's considered like, um, you know, it j again, it just goes to show the power of defending its storehouses. You know, it just like maxes your your morale is just so good for so long, um, as you've seen on both sides. You know, even then, like Marsu here, for example, is just like, you know, he's got no men. They're only freaking bowmen. They, there's not really much they can do about this. And we even, I suppose, even saw, you know, with Fan Zheng, you know, in uh, Pang Dei's unit just absolutely ripping um, Pang Tong's unit to bits. Um, and it still took a long time to actually get them round down enough to actually get them to retreat. Just goes to show. We are invincible. There is no army that we cannot stop. Old soldiers never die. Their legends live on. Yeah, some truth there. I suppose that's why we're playing this game, right? I guess. All right, then. Uh, we might as well send our units down, like, here, in case, like, there's anything to be done. But I don't suspect they're going to be particularly getting involved in this fight in any particular way, shape, or form. But, you know, a man can dream. A man can dream. So it's weird as well seeing that the AI fight, especially like uh, the magic wise. I don't know what the hell Marsu's doing. I think Marsu's trying to like gather what troops he has left. 
to do something. It was mentioned in a previous video, actually, about, like, uh, this sort of thing. Watching the AI, like, they do little bits and pieces here and there in during the battle to kind of, like, rearrange their forces. Apparently, there's, like, uh, like, if your troops are near, like, the general, they fight better or whatnot, stuff like that. I believe this was mentioned. Uh, which hasn't been mentioned before. Which is kind of cute, I guess. But it's not really something that, as the player, you really can take much uh, use of. Or we really need to make use of. No one in the world will be able to stop us. <laughs> run! <laughs> Quickly! <laughs> Hurry up and run! <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, this game. All right, let's uh, let's get this one uh, some of the books. So as it turns out, this fight on either side, not particularly difficult. Maybe that's why they don't really give you much of a uh, reward. Don't know. Don't know. Can you burn this down, please? Cheers. Burn it to the ground. Not like the shoe force is going to be needing it, you know? They weren't worth the trouble. Today's a bitter drink. There we go. The enemy general has been defeated. We've won. Yay. Good stuff. I mean, it wasn't like the shoes died where we won the battle in five minutes, but it's still pretty effective. Better than Far and Jeng, my you God. You who defy the mandate of heaven, learn your lesson. Say, so Far Jeng was a, that was a bloodbath. I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. Yeah, again, notice that our forces increase is a lot higher than it was at Farjang because we just took so many casualties. Oh dear, the other two I think are more or less the same. Our military skills there have an enormous increase. Maybe you get like, higher military skills for winning the battle faster? I've actually never thought about that. That's actually very, very possibly the case. Yeah. Anyways, that's going to be all for the video. So thank you all for watching as always. Uh, next time, we're going to be actually taking the canonical route we're going to be doing on this. And that is heading up to Xi province. Uh, we've got ourselves a, a date with uh, the mystic Kai Wenji. Basically, female Genghis Khan. I'll see you then.